What's up, YouTube? Sir Hunts Reviews. I'm Mark, and I'm going to bring you guys another Crock-Pot Theory. So if you can, do me three favors. Go ahead and grab your chicken, your uh, steak, um, a little bit of this weed here, and the secret ingredient, kitty cats. Yummy! Those little orange bits in this stew right here, those are from the cat. They add extra flavor and extra Crock-Pot Theories. Dinner is served. Chow down, people. But, uh, yeah, so Jon Snow is looking less and less likely to come back in Season 6. Uh, we saw him being super fucking dead, uh, several times throughout the episode. But, with that being said, Melisandre is probably gonna be a key player in his return, whether that's, uh, resurrection or straight-up blood sacrifice. And Well, I guess that, that's the same fucking thing as resurrection, but I'm, I'm leaning towards this necklace. That necklace has got some magical fucking properties to it. We found out, season 6, episode 1, Game of Thrones, that Melisandre's necklace actually makes her appear to be in her, I'll say, early to mid-30s, when she's actually around, let's see, if you take the 4 minus the 6, plus 7, oh, 400 fucking years old! Sorry for screaming in y'all's ears, I just got extremely excited because, well, it's Game of Thrones. But I think we can all agree that this necklace, right, chow? has a lot of magical properties to it. It is responsible for Melisandre's glamour. Now let's look up the definition of glamour. Glamour is, well, glamour was originally a term applied to a magical occult spell that was cast on somebody to make them see something the spellcaster wished them to see, when in fact it was not what it seemed to be. In the late 19th century, terminology, a non-magical item used to help create more attractive appearance gradually became known as a glamour. Today, Glamour is an impression of attraction or fascination that particularly luxury, luxurious or elegant appearance creates, an impression which is better than reality. Typically, a person, event, location, technology, or product such as a piece of clothing can be glamorous or add glamour. Alright, so now that I just regurgitated those words to you guys, let's look at the key parts of what this this little wiki wiki page was saying. It is something that is made to make somebody see something. That the person who cast it wish that that person would see. In relation to Game of Thrones, Melisandre is using her necklace as a glamour to appear to be about 30 to 35 when all actuality, she's like a few hundred years old. Or, I think they said like 300 in that little interview. At this point in the video, everybody's probably wondering, what the fuck does this have to do with Jon Snow coming back? Well, what if the times that we see Jon Snow in the trailer here, um, this is probably halfway through, I think... First trailer, um, we also get another shot of him here, yeah. and these shots are actually not Jon Snow, and really, they are Dolores Ed. Melisandre has given her glamour necklace to Dolores Ed to rally the troops when the Wildlings are fighting the Boltons, just until Bran and Bloodraven can show up. Okay, so maybe not until Bran and Bloodraven show up, even though I really hope that's how Jon Snow comes back and that this theory is wrong, but just in case Jon Snow doesn't come back and Bran and Bloodraven don't actually revive him, Melisandre has then, at this point, realized that she's kind of pointless. She could give the rest of, she could give her brooch to uh, Dolores A to pretend to be Jon Snow, which will, in fact, rally the Wildlings and anybody who's fighting for the Starks if they see someone who they believe is Jon Snow who they thought was dead running through the lines back to these pictures right here running through the, the the banks and shit like that just rallying everybody and like killing shit left and right Dolores said is not the best fighter but if he was pretending to be Jon Snow it's really just the imagery that would inspire the troops morale in all honesty though I still feel like the best way would be that supposed fucking episode one leak which obviously it's not episode one but it could be the way Jon Snow comes back was through Blood Raven and Bran uh, they are right around the corner. It would just be an easy scapegoat if they're trying to make it seem like Melisandre's completely lost her faith and they don't want to go the Thor Samir route, where that's how he brought back Beric Dondarrion, where Thoros had virtually lost all of his faith in uh, the Red God R'hllor, and he just so happened to pray over his buddy Beric Dondarrion's body, and then Beric came back. So if they don't want to go that route, where Melisandre's basically doing the same thing, where she loses all their faith, and she takes off her necklace and she basically gives up on it and then she just goes and just prays over his body and then Jon Snow comes back. It would be a lot easier to just throw Bran and Bloodraven in the mix because we don't know a lot about Bloodraven's magic. So we could just be like, Kate, hey, you know what? Just for the show purposes only, not for the books, but for the show only, Bran 
actually has the power to bring back Jon Snow thanks to Blood Raven and his magic. So in conclusion of this video, I just want people to realize that for us Jon Snow fans, there was still a little bit of hope that he may be coming back. It may not be the way that we all wanted to, which is him being resurrected, but we still may see Kit Harington yet in Season 6 of Game of Thrones. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. And if you can, make sure you like and tell me your thoughts down in that comment section down below. Um, I have been saving every single question that is coming up on these videos that I find really interesting and that I want to incorporate into a video. I'm saving those for a Q&A, and that will be coming up hopefully before uh, episode 2 premieres next Sunday. But uh, like I said, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This has been Sir Hunt's Reviews. Two.